Two dozen years ago, New York native Michael Berman was hired to be a product manager for a tiny Minneapolis company awaiting approval from the Food and Drug Administration to sell its first product. The company was SciMed Life Systems. The product was a remarkably thin and flexible catheter for guiding angioplasty balloons through blood vessels to clear obstructions, and it would soon dominate the market. Mike Berman oversaw its development and sales, and then the development and sales of other SciMed products. One of them was a second generation balloon catheter that helped make SciMed number one in the global catheter market. Another was a series of bare metal stents that became mainstays of interventional cardiology. Those successes and others helped drive the $1.4 billion purchase of SciMed by Boston Scientific in 1995. SciMed became Boston Scientific's new cardiology division and Berman became its CEO and in the next five years expanded the division to 4,000 employees and from $300 million in annual sales to $1.5 billion. In 2000, Berman had a chance to run all of Boston Scientific, but his division was already contributing half of the company's sales and 75% of its profits, and he was looking for a change. After a cross-country trip with his family, he sifted through his options. Venture capital, another senior level position at a medical technology company. And the more he thought about it, the idea of helping med tech startups grew more appealing. Now, 10 years later, Berman is helping build new SciMeds. He has emerged as one of Minnesota's most influential angel investors in medical technology companies. He has co-founded two business incubators and founded, invested in, or joined the board of 14 medical device companies. The most successful venture has been Velocimed, a cardiology device company that he and two co-founders sold in 2005 to St. Jude Medical for $82.5 million. Of the remaining companies that Berman had worked with, only three were abandoned. Five became successful, and five have yet to be proven. Among the successes, Data Sciences International, a developer of implantable technology for use in animal research. Pharmacentra, which creates customizable market programs for pharmaceutical companies. And Ultrashape, a company based in Israel with non-invasive skin smoothing technology. His greatest interest, he says, is in technologies that can have a big clinical impact. Startup companies, he says, are where most of the high potential innovation happens. And that's what I love most.